Apple just released iOS 16.4 beta 2 to registered developers about two weeks after the release of beta 1. And this update will be out to public beta testers soon. Now, in addition to this release, Apple also dropped iPadOS 16.4 beta 2, macOS 13.3 beta 2, watchOS 9.4 beta 2, tvOS 16.4 beta 2, and HomePod OS 16.4 beta 2. But in this video, we're talking all about iOS and what's new in the software. So starting off with the size of this update, this one came in larger than I expected at over 700 megabytes on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, if we go ahead and check out the build number, settings, general about, we can see that the new build number is 20E5223E. So we do have an E at the end of the build number, which does indicate we still have at least a few more betas to go. And if we go back and go down to the modem firmware that has also been updated to now 1.66.01 on the iPhone 14 series. All right, so now what's new here in beta two? And the first thing is actually right back inside of settings here. If we go down to general about, and then to the warranty section where it shows coverage, we have new glyph icons here so in beta 1 we showed that it, this now shows all of your paired devices so not only your iPhone it will now show the paired devices like your AirPods and Apple Watch and now we have glyph icons in beta 2 before it was just the text now we have glyph icons for both this device and also for all the paired devices also in settings if we go to display and brightness and then down to the always on display this section has changed with the verbiage underneath so you can see that the verbiage is a little bit different here in beta 2 and also it says on now instead of enabled before it would just say enabled now it shows on and when you go in here this has changed as well so you can see we have a separate paragraph here that says the display will turn off automatically to save battery life when not in use and the show wallpaper and show notifications now have a customized title above them right there and they've also flipped with always on display so now these show up above always on display and there's also that additional sentence there under always on display that shows when always on display is off your screen will turn off when iphone is locked in the books application if you go into the themes and settings section you will see that you have a brand new toggle there in the middle where you can change the page animation so in beta 1 and 16.3.1 it was just this animation right here and you were not able to change that but now with beta 2 of 16.4 or you can change it to no animation, a slide, or a curl. So the curl is back now, so it looks like a real book when you do that animation there. But now you get the option to change it back if you would like. We also have a few minor changes in the music application. So if I go into one of my playlists and go ahead and tap on play next, you will see that that animation, it lasts a little bit longer here in beta two. So as you guys know, in beta one, we talked about that brand new animation there in the music application, and it went away very fast in beta one. But now in beta two, it lasts just a split second longer than it did in beta one. And I mentioned this in my Apple Weekly episode, but you can see that the waveform animation on the currently playing song has been tweaked and it looks much better now and it actually goes along to the song as well it's not just random waveforms there's a new splash screen for the podcast application when you open it up for the first time here on beta 2 and it shows the new features so we have channels in library which will let you easily access followed shows and more from your channels improved up next where you can resume episodes and remove any you want to skip and of course carplay updates where you can quickly pick up where you left off or find new shows and browse so we covered all of those features already in beta one, but now we have a splash screen to show those new features for, of course, when the official version of 16.4 rolls out. And I just tested out a new feature that was introduced in beta one, but was not working. And now it works in beta two. So if you go to your settings, go to accessibility, and then to motion, you will see a brand new option, a brand new toggle here for dim flashing lights. And this will dim any type of flashing or strobing lights, like in a club, a festival, anything like that. And this was not working in beta one at least not for the YouTube application but now in beta two I just tested this out and it is working properly even in the YouTube application, although this will probably work better in the native applications like Safari and Apple TV. 9 to 5 Mac also found something interesting in the code, and that is that Apple Pay will be coming to South Korea with iOS 16.4 since it did just recently get approval from the local regulator. And just to mention it, because I do get questions about it all the time, the home 
application seems unchanged here in beta 2 i've not found anything new in beta 2 i didn't get any type of new splash screen i still have home pods showing configuring even though they are clearly hooked up and i can play music on them if i want to so the home application still seems like a mess like it was in beta 1 but hopefully that does improve with time and i did also want to address the infamous change to how we receive beta updates in the future so all along on ios you were able to install a developer beta if you had the profile but moving forward that's not going to be the case now i'm guessing this is not going to take place until ios 17 because even with this release now some users saw this right here where it said your apple id is not currently enrolled in the selected beta program but they were still able to eventually install the developer beta even though this even says that their apple id is not enrolled in the beta program but because they had the profile they were able to install the developer beta so you know that just kind of is foreshadowing for what's coming in the future that's most likely what you're going to see starting with ios 17. it could even happen earlier i'm not sure but you know you were still able to install at least beta 2 for now with just the profile you didn't have to have a paid developer Developer account and again how that works you have to have a paid developer account and the email you use for that paid developer account needs to be associated with your Apple ID as far as the release notes go the release notes kind of just repeat a lot of what we saw in beta 1 nothing really stands out to me right here we do have an issue with watch migration we have the beta enrollment feature which we just talked about we have things like you know for the home application where you can have both manual and automatic software update support for matter accessories and a lot of other known issues and resolved issues but really nothing new aside from what we already saw in beta 1. now as far as performance goes right away i was able to tell a little bit of a difference in performance here with beta 2. so i noticed right when i unlocked my device for the first time it was just a little bit smoother and going in and out of applications seemed a little bit better so i do think performance has been improved here in beta 2. i am currently running a geekbench 6 test just to see if the scores kind of back up that theory but so far performance feels awesome and it was awesome in beta 1 so that's really something to say that it's even better here in beta 2. all right so we scored a 25 23 on the single core and a 63 61 on the multi-core so both of those were actually lower than beta 1. so take these geekbench tests with a grain of salt you know they're pretty different they vary greatly on a test by test basis so don't really put much into this it's just fun to kind of keep track of the scores over time but when you're talking about beta over beta it's hard it's almost irrelevant at this point it's just good for taking notes to look back on in the future but so far like i said performance feels even better than beta one for me so i would expect decent performance here at least for a beta but as far as battery life goes battery life was not that great for me in beta one so i was averaging about 30 to 45 minutes less of screen on time on my 14 pro max now of course i didn't use this a lot i only used it for a couple of days as my main device but still i did notice a difference in battery life it was less than 16.3.1 and honestly i would expect the same here for beta 2. now it may get better in like beta 4 if we get there or especially the rc but for right now battery life is just not the greatest my device did also heat up a little bit more by the way from that geekbench test i thought it would go away but it's still a little bit warm so that is something to note as well now let's talk about what to expect next from apple and next up is going to be ios 16.4 beta 3 and i would expect that to actually come next week the week of march 6th so we were on a two-week you know little beta run right there from beta 1 to beta 2 but i do think apple is going to switch over to a weekly release schedule now moving forward for ios 16.4 betas and that way we should get 16.4 beta 3 on the week of the 6th beta 4 on the week of the 13th and then maybe beta 5 on the week of the 20th if not the rc and then the final either this last week of march or even into early april we'll have to wait and see that is just my guess right now as far as when we can expect to see 16.4 that final release and again i don't think we're going to see a 16.3.2 unless something catastrophic has come out and apple needs to address it right away with a 16.3.2 but anyways guys there you have it that is ios 16.4 beta 2 not near as many new features and changes as in beta 1 but that's expected a lot of the big features and changes always come in that first beta so hopefully with beta 3 we see more and of course i'm sure i will discover more new features and changes as the week goes on and that's why you guys subscribe to see those apple weekly episodes every saturday but if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that next apple weekly episode along with a lot more ios beta videos just like this one but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon